big twist is expected tomorrow in the fraud case against Congressman Duncan Hunter and his wife Margaret. She has scheduled a hearing to change her plea. Our tenders reporter Matt Boone spoke to a former federal prosecutor and joins us live outside the federal courthouse. Matt. Steve, it's going to be pretty busy out here tomorrow as we wait to see what her new plea will actually be and whether it actually includes testimony against her husband in exchange for a lesser sentence. It's been a tumultuous time for the husband and wife team since last August when Duncan and Margaret Hunter were indicted on 60 felony charges related to allegedly misspending $250,000 from campaign donors. They both pleaded not guilty, but now Margaret has decided to change that. I'm assuming, but I don't know, that she's agreed to cooperate and to testify. Chuck LaBella is an attorney who's not affiliated with the case, but used to be a federal prosecutor who investigated fraud. Well, these cases are difficult. He says this raises the prospect that Duncan Hunter's lawyers may end up cross-examining his wife on the stand, though there are other possibilities. And maybe they just want the inside story. Maybe they want her perspective. Maybe she doesn't testify at trial, but she cooperates and steers them in one direction or another. No matter how she pleads, her husband will still have to fight each charge on his own. To be blunt, for Congressman Hunter's part of the trial, this ain't good. It just can't be good. John Dadian is a Republican political analyst. Despite the pressure on Duncan Hunter, he says anything less than a full conviction against him leaves his political future still open. If it's a not guilty or a hung jury, yeah, I think he's looking fine for re-election, quite honestly. Though he admits the reliably Republican district is becoming more vulnerable, with Hunter only narrowly beating rival Amar Kampanajar in the midterms. Even though I view Sapresis as Hunter territory, they love him, they love the name, they love the family. Um, keep in mind, the election results from last time was four points difference. Now, as for Margaret, if she does take that plea deal, it's possible she still could face prison time, though LaBella says that's unlikely. She is uh, expected to be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. for that hearing. As for her husband, we reached out to his legal team. We did not hear back. His trial is scheduled for September. Reporting live downtown, Matt Boone, 10 News.